Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to create an outer join with two tables. After I show you that, then I'll show you how to create an outer join with the same table using a self-join. So let's first of all get familiar with our tables. You'll see here that we have an employees table and there is a department ID right in here. Now what I want to do is make sure that there are some employees that don't actually have a department. So here I'm going to say select count from employees where department ID is null. So yes, we do have two employees where the department is null. So now let's just do a regular inner join here on this table with the departments table. So here's our departments table. And what I'd like to do is just show the employees ID, first name, last name, and department name. So here we're going to do select employee ID, first name, last name, and department name. Now we're going to do this from our employees table. Now our join is going to be on the department IDs right here and since they have the same name I'll show you the shorthand way to perform the join. So we'll say employees join or you can say inner join it does the same thing departments using department ID. So the only time you can use using is when the columns that are joined have the same name. Okay, so let's see how many records come back. Okay, 107 rows selected. Let's see how many rows we have total though. Let's do a select count from employees you'll see that we have 109. So the difference there, it's, it's basically eliminating those two employees that do not have a department. Now, let's do something real quick. Okay, I loaded this original statement in here again, and uh, what we're going to do now is put this in our editor, and we're going to make a slight change. Now, if I want to list all the employees, regardless of whether they have a department, this is going to be a left outer join because the employees table is on the left hand side. So here we'll say left outer join departments. Let's run this again and you'll see we now have 109 rows selected. Okay great, now we're going to take this a step further. Let's do a describe on the employees table again. And you'll see that there is the employee ID, which every employee must have. And then there's this manager ID, and you'll see that it is optional because it doesn't say not null. So if somebody is managed by another employee, then their manager ID is going to refer to that person. Okay, so let's see how many people are not managed by somebody. So we're going to do a select count from employees where manager ID is null. Looks like we have three in there. Now let's perform a self-join. We're going to pretend that like we have two tables, but actually it's based on the same table. We want our left-hand table to represent all the employees. We want our right-hand table to represent managers. So what I'd like to do is display the employee ID, first name and last name of those employees and then the manager ID as well if they have a manager. Okay, so if we do a select employee ID, first name, last name, and manager ID from employees, we'll call this E. Let's just do an inner join first. We have to use an alias since we're doing a self-join. So we have employees E and then we all also have employees M which represents the managers. Now we're going to say on E dot. Now what we want to do is remember our left hand side represents the employee and we want to say well when the, the employee's manager ID is equal to the managers employee ID. Okay, so now this is coming back as 
ambiguously defined. The reason why it's complaining is because it doesn't know which table it's talking about. So let's fully qualify this and put an E dot in front of all of these. I'm going to take this in my editor here and let's just fully qualify it right here. And now we're going to run it again. Okay, 106 rows selected. Now let's turn this into an outer join. So here we'll just say left outer join. You'll see that 109 rows are selected now. So we know that our left outer join is getting displayed. So even if an employee doesn't have a manager, they're going to be displayed here. In fact, I'm going to scroll up until we come across these guys right here, you'll see they have no manager. So that's pretty much how our outer joins work. I hope you got a lot out of this video tutorial. Come visit us at our website at www.fireboxtraining.com.